what I have here in there is guillotine blade for a large paper guillotine. Right, let's get it out. We have to be very careful with this because it is, even though it's in here for sharpening, it is very sharp still. A couple of little nicks there. And a couple more up here. There we go. Well, I should get rid of those. And I should get this up on the bath grinder. Okay. First things first here, as you can see, the chuck is angled. So for a guillotine blade, I'm gonna make sure that I get it square to the top, hanging over just a small amount. But first to do that, I need to level this up. So over here, I have my wheel, which tilts the chuck and this tells you what angle we are at. So currently we are at 26 degrees. So firstly, I'm going to crack that nut off and I'm going to spin this wheel around until I get the other way. I just want to get it fairly flat. That's fine. Right, so now it's looking pretty square, that do. Nicely. Let's get the blade on. So I've sat the blade on, and what I want is I want it at um, four or five mil hanging over the edge, sort of like that ish, each side. And then I'm going to go and get my trusty little measuring tool. bit of a gap there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this pull that out a little bit just so it touches the back of this and then I should just keep going along until I know this blade is square all the way up. Right, just pull the blade down that is touching there and that's touching there pushing it up and I'm not seeing any gaps either. So that is touching all the way. Yep. Okay, I think we're squared. Next job for me is to come over here and next to where I put an M for magnet, turn it on. That is now on there, and it's not going anywhere. That's very strong, that magnet. And then I'm gonna get my trusty little digital protractor bevel thing. And it's telling me that it's, I put it on there, which is the square of the bed, like that, zero, zero, zero. Okay. And then I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna put it on there. And that is saying, and it's at 18.8 degrees. So I'm just going to spin this until that says zero. we go. Now that beveled edge is totally square with the machine. Excellent. Now I'm going to bring the head along, excuse the state of it, bring the head along and see down there blade and the wheel. Right. I'm going to put my hand in here see how high that is. I'm going to lower the wheel until it is close. Yep, that's pretty close. I'm going to slowly move this until it's just touching. Right, it's just 
just touching, so I've knocked it back a little bit. And now I'm going to move this pipe until it's just over the top at the top of the blade so that it keeps it cool and also blows any swarf out of the way. And that's close enough now. Now I should move the whole machine out the way. Come over here, G for grinding wheel, bang. W for water. And then T for travel. And there you go, there's the, there's the winding wheel going, there's the water spraying. T for travel. And that's just going to go up and down. Feed here. And when I get to there, it clicks it round. down, feeding piece by piece here until that's gone all the way around and touches that again. Once that's done that a couple of times, we will see what finish with it. You also need to stone the back a little, like this, just to get any burr up during the process. So here I'm just running the stone up, up the edge, just to bring any fur from underneath back up and then it runs over the top leaving you a nice clean finish. Now let's see how we've got on. Now I have an old rag here, let's see how we've got on with the turn round and we'll see how we get on then. Knock that round, wheel, water, travel. Wait till it clicks over here so as not to push it too far. There we go. So we have gone round once again, putting any burr up, you can see it there, look. Once that goes over again, we should remove that. We shall do it again. Be very careful there, because this is razor sharp now. There's no nicks on that anymore. That is razor, razor sharp. No nicks, no cuts. Perfectly razor sharp and dead straight. Now turn the magnet off. 
demagnetise everything. You can see all the uh, all this has come off the blade. Just tiny little bits of fragments that. Let's get it off the machine, cleaned up, dried off, and back in its box. You can see it now. I've got it off the machine with a handle. And you can see that there. Absolutely perfect. Back in the box, and let's not forget my super little sharp logo for 12 point tools. Come and see us.